Did he rescue you? And, and, and he was like, well, man, please. He, he done stayed up all night. He didn't want to no entertainment, no food or nothing. And rushed out there at dawn. Here we go. Verse number um, nine, it says, they have not hurt me because I, found, I was found innocent in his sight. Nor have I ever done anything wrong before you, O king. He said, verse 23, he said, the king was overjoyed. Look how he responded, y'all. Check this out. He said he was overjoyed and gave the lift. He said gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And Daniel was lifted from the den. No wound was found on him because he had trusted his God. At the king's command, who takes care of, who takes care of our haters? God going to take care of them haters, right? Here we go. The same people, right? He said he was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the lion's den. And Daniel was lifted out of the den with no wounds was found on him because he trusted his God. At the king's command, the men who falsely accused Daniel were brought in and thrown into the lion's den. And I love, oh, Jesus. Y'all said, Pastor, don't get excited about them jokers getting ate up. <laughs> Come on, man. Because they don't mean to touch us, man. They need to keep their hands and their mouths off of us as children of God. Because we're trying to set the standard, man. Oh, man. Here we go. He said the king was overjoyed. I'll read it again. He was overjoyed and lifted out um, a day out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted out of the den, no wound was found on him because he trusted in his God. At the king's command, the men who had falsely accused Daniel was um, brought in and thrown into the lion's den along with their wives and children. For those out there who watch it, men of God, you have a responsibility. If you don't do what's right, your family and your bloodline gonna be wiped out. Daniel 